Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another No Meds video for you. And during the month of November, we've been talking about Alzheimer's and dementia. I'm holding aqueous zinc in my hand. We have a simple test in our practice that we have our practice members hold on to about a cap full of zinc, the liquid zinc in their mouth, for about 10 or 15 seconds. And we want to see if they taste it or not. Traditionally and typically, if someone does not taste the zinc, it's a body signal to us. They may in fact have a zinc deficiency. The significance of that is the fact there's a part of your brain called the hippocampus. If you can't remember hippocampus, just say hippopotamus. The hippocampus allows for memory. You can test for your zinc level, simple test. I mentioned on a prior uh, NOMEDS video about hair analysis. So what we have seen, we see high copper, low zinc. On a hair analysis, if you have adrenal fatigue, you don't taste the zinc, body signal that you may have a zinc deficiency. What causes a, a zinc deficiency? Wheat and soy. So we have been really fortunate about tying this all together. I also mentioned in the past the essential fatty acid blood spot test. On that blood spot test, if you have a zinc deficiency, it will show up. The reason that zinc is so important it helps as a cofactor for the fats for your brain. You may want to go back and re-listen to this again, or you may consider purchasing Dr. Bob's Trans Fat Survival Guide, where I go into great detail on how brain fat is impacted and it'll prevent you from having Alzheimer's and dementia. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria with another No Meds video for you.